Hi, this is John with Cooking with John, and today we're going to talk about some good college ideas about how you can make food for your college starving college student. So uh, today's creation, concoction, if you will, is called ramen noodles with eggs with hot sauce. So uh, let's get started. Okay. So uh, if you'll see, I have my uh, I have my ingredients here. First, we have the top ramen. Today we have chicken flavor, but beef works just as well. So go ahead and experiment with all the other flavors. You want to open one side of the bag, and then it, you just take the bag and go ahead and crush it right into the bowl. This takes some muscles, but, uh, huh? It's all right. It will be a lot. So uh, this takes some mass muscles. If you don't have enough muscles, just go ahead and hit the gym for a few weeks, and then you have enough. It's all right, you're in college, you, you can work out. So you just throw, just throw the bag off to the side, just like that. So you take, <laughs> if you crush it just right, your flavor packet will fall into your, you want to shake it with this side down, because then it gets all the flavoring to one side. You rip it open, and with chicken, you don't want to put all of it in there, you only want to put probably like 80% uh, of the packet in there. With beef, you can go ahead and put all of it in there, because it's not as salty. So then you want to put water in there. You want to start with hot, but I'm usually too lazy to let it get hot, so I just put it in there. If you put it right on the flavoring, you'll mix it into the ramen noodles. This is where you need your fork, which uh, I have seemed to misplace. Oh wait, one second. I did bring my fork. You just give it a quick little whisk. Get it mixed up. Now here's, go ahead and crack a couple eggs in there. I'm trying to keep this just go ahead and put one in there, bam. You can rest the other egg on top of your carton while you wait. Don't get any shells in there because nobody likes shells in their, in, their, in their eggs. So then you go ahead and poke the eggs and uh, whisk it because you want to get it all mixed up. This is called the, the uh, ramen egg drop soup thing. And then you open the microwave. Don't spill. Don't get egg stuff. You put it in for five minutes, depending on the just five minutes, and uh, then there you go. When it comes out, it'll be it'll be all heated up together. It almost make this like kind of like ramen noodle pie thing, and it'll taste really good. All right, so our uh, concoction has finished cooking. So we're gonna go ahead and open our microwave. As you can see, it's it's looking quite nice in here. You just take it out, place it, it's really hot, so be careful. Sometimes there will be parts of eggs that haven't cooked yet, but don't worry because actually, actually it's still so hot that uh, if you just stir it up, the heat will cook the rest of the eggs while you're still sitting there waiting, you know, because you're waiting to do some homework and stuff. So you, you can't wait around for your food to cook. <laughs> Nobody does. I mean, you just give it a quick stir. Go ahead and uh, study a few more problems while you wait, to, to wait for it to cool. And then, uh, like I promised, we do have some hot sauce here. This is a new invention. Before I didn't use this, but uh, I learned that it actually really it makes it two-thirds better. So you just, you just take some hot sauce, and if it's been in the fridge, not only does it heat it up, it also cools it down because it's cold. And this is hot but it's not spicy, so it heats it up and cools it down at the same time. It's, it's magic, my friends. All right, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more hot sauce because I didn't, but uh, I just want you to let you know that this, my friend, this will take you through your college years. Bon appetit. <laughs> so this has been John with Cooking with John. And I hope you tune in for next time, because we have some great ideas for you. So our, uh, thank you, I'm John Grimshaw.